A new dawn emerges in a land between the two mighty rivers known as the Euphrates and the Tigris, a people that unifies tribal communities from all over the land and inspires a universal language, culture, and a new way of governing fairness and quality in the known world. These people are known as the Assyrians. The Assyrians are the indigenous people of northern Iraq, northwestern Iran, southeastern Turkey, and eastern Syria. Today there are over 5 million Assyrians worldwide and they speak the Aramaic language, also known as Syriac. These peoples are also referred to as the Chaldean, Aramean, and Syriac. Modern Assyrians are the descendants of the ancient Assyrian and Babylonian empires, one of the earliest civilizations emerging in the Middle East, and have a history spanning over 6,770 years. Although this flourishing empire ends its reign in 612 BC, history is filled with recorded details of the continuous presence of the Assyrians till the present time. During the ancient periods, their civilization was centered at the city of Ashur, also called Ashur, the ruins of which are located in northern Iraq, or more specifically present-day Mosul. Even after the horrors brought by Isis and destroying most of the Assyrian relics, you can still see the ruins of Ninwe and the Lamassu guarding the palace entrance. The Assyrians contributed a great deal to helping usher the basis of civilizations by inventing writing and literature, erecting the first organized library by King Ashurbanipal and Ninwe, developing paved roads, and creating the 360 degree circle, of which laid down the foundation of telling time. Establishing law and judicial systems with the Code of Hammurabi helped facilitate many things such as instituting medicine and pharmacology, and most importantly easing the spread of a universal language in the known world. After the fall of the Assyrian Empire in the 6th century BC, the indigenous peoples were reduced to a small nation living at the mercy of their overlords. The Ottoman Turks, being the powerhouse of the Middle East, had placed a target on these indigenous peoples back due to their ethnic origin and their religious beliefs. This heinous act had resulted in various massacres that culminated in the Assyrian Genocide of 1915, also known as Seifo, an Aramaic word meaning the year of the sword. Shortly after Seifo, the Iraqi government, with the help of Kurdish tribes, massacred thousands of Assyrian children, women, and elders in the town of Simil and surrounding areas in northern Iraq. The Simel massacre began on August 7, 1933, Thousands of Assyrians were slaughtered as Arab and Kurdish forces raided the district of Simile in northern Iraq. The Assyrians had previously been disarmed and were defenseless against the attacks. Men were rounded up and shot dead, women and young girls were raped and made to march naked. Before the Iraqi commanders, children were run over by military cars. Pregnant women stabbed with bayonets. The massacres were indiscriminate. They killed men and women, young and old. سميلي ناشي رقلي ولا فرمت وطلت أقول سميلي ورقلي ناشي بليل بيوم أرقي ورابا مني قتلي ولا فرمي ولا أنا إيون وسورة ثانية ويمي قالي يمرا وآتي سورة وإثوال وإشتي يرخ أنا إثوال إشتي يرخ القفلتي منه قلت إن أنا شمي ولا قالا تأتي ودقي ولا قم ده فرمي ولا كله ليش وقي وأبخا يعني أبهم من ليزا بريوهم زمي وقا ولا خب طار خلوقه يعني أنت في قربة أخذال بل كنيخة نيخة هم جميوة قد برميوة الأخذال تلاشا ميوة القالة قرداية قد أذي دو قوة لبرميوة رابب جنجرو لي أني كل بيزال يوم أخذال أني أمر خنا رابي البروناخ ومخلص ريشاخ يمر أنا بروني لي رابينا ين أنا وبروني مخلطنا ين ماذا مغذال لا قم ربيالي قم خلطانا خلص لآي وخلص لآنا إجا إيدان تنتخار ليمي زعما تيلا يمي إجا تخرنا هي باخر قالة دياها مثل يمي خبختا
ارابز پایا با مایران تا با ای مغباوانا شه ایلا و من من بختا دا تمز ما والنا شه ینهننا رابز و دا من لازم سب ما یمی قمتا و یاتومتا بابا و یمم و میثی و او ای سورتا و قمتا و قبیت بو خالا دا آی ما یو داوا ان سورای دی انت ماتا یسقی و لهنا الطور مندی قطی و طرپ و هن و دی و قعر و قتمی دی و آی جماع و لیال چورت ماتا کلا کسل دیا ماتا و لقد خانش شنورا بشلا و لا و دریا و لی می خلتا قد اخلی و کلا متما و بانا لی هلی قد دری و ناشای بابا و یم دری و من طورا ايه كما يدوى للب وكما يدوى لحنية البرونة دي تلاقى مرة في عال انوه لأطوراي قدش تنوه وهو لقى أطوراي ان آنا هاو انطاخ دير التاما قرا كل أطوراي دير التاما الأثراي أطري ايه كيلة وإراق أخني أثرا ايه وإراق لماذا أثرت عرباي ينت قرداي إيوه وات أطوراي كودو كت خبرت انت قزيت أثرات أن إليت أطوراي وإراق وغشوري وكل خدوك أقا ما روخ وطابوخ من آلها قد بلتيها وخفرقانا أسئلة هيك يوان كبار كل جلة إنزال على كل رأي أتو رأي وأخني ليوخ وتراي ديا ليلة تخار اللي أن يوم هذا تري بابا ويما وأهواذا وجنجر وريق ومقمن لي وممطي لي هل لي دار جديا ليلة تخمون بالداي قلت لي تو تخمن يادا The cycle of destruction never flees the heads of these ancient peoples as the most recent attempt of ethnic cleansing and genocide was at the hands of the Islamic State ISIS in 2014. Despite their contributions and resilience, the Syrians continue to face challenges in the regions where they reside. Political instability, conflicts and displacement have had a significant impact on their communities. Syrians have been disproportionately affected by the conflicts in Iraq and Syria, with many being forced to flee their homes and seek refuge elsewhere. The preservation of their cultural heritage and the protection of their rights remain ongoing concerns for the Assyrian community. Nonetheless, Assyrians today continue to strive for recognition, cultural preservation, and a secure future. They actively engage in advocacy efforts, promoting their rights, and seeking support from international organizations and governments. Syrian diaspora communities play a crucial role in raising awareness about the challenges faced by their brethren and supporting initiatives aimed at their well-being. In conclusion, Assyrians today represent a resilient community that proudly carries on the legacy of their ancient ancestors. With a strong sense of cultural identity, contributions in various fields, and a determination to overcome challenges, they strive to preserve their heritage, protect their rights, and build a better future for generations to come.
the Assyrians, an ancient civilization that flourished in Mesopotamia, were not only known for their military strength, but also for their remarkable prowess as builders. Their architectural achievements were grand, sophisticated, and influential, leaving a lasting impact on subsequent civilizations. The Assyrians developed innovative techniques, constructed monumental structures, and adorned them with exquisite artwork showcasing their mastery in the field of architecture. One of the key aspects of Assyrian building was their advanced knowledge of engineering and construction techniques. They developed architectural methods that allowed them to construct massive and durable structures. The Assyrians were skilled in the use of mud, brick, and stone, utilizing them to build sturdy walls, temples, and palaces. They also utilized arches and vaults, employing a technique known as corbelled arch construction. This technique involved placing successively projecting layers of stone or brick, each one slightly offset from the layer below, resulting in a self-supporting arch. This architectural innovation allowed the Assyrians to construct grand structures, such as the palace complexes of Nimrud and Khorsabad. The palaces of the Assyrians were architectural marvels, exemplifying their advanced building techniques and artistic sensibilities. These palaces were sprawling complexes with multiple courtyards, audience halls, and private chambers. The most famous of these palaces is the Palace of Ashurnasherpal II I at Nimrud. It featured grand entrances, imposing gateways, and intricately decorated rooms. The walls were adorned with relief sculptures depicting scenes of royal hunts, battles, and religious rituals. The reliefs not only showcased the artistic skills of the Assyrians, but also served as propaganda, displaying the power and might of the Assyrian kings. Another remarkable architectural feature of the Assyrians was their mastery of urban planning. They designed and built well-organized cities with intricate road networks, well-planned water management systems, and efficient drainage systems. The city of Ninwen, the capital of the Assyrian Empire, was a testament to their urban planning capabilities. It was surrounded by massive walls and had multiple gateways for access. The city was divided into different sections, each with its specific function, such as residential areas, administrative centers, and temples. The careful planning and organization of their cities reflected the Assyrians' commitment to efficient governance and their understanding of the importance of urban infrastructure. The Assyrians also demonstrated their architectural expertise in the construction of religious structures. Temples were an essential part of their society, serving as centers of worship and religious ceremonies. These temples were often situated atop ziggurats, towering step structures that symbolized the connection between heaven and earth. The ziggurat of Dur Shurukin, built by the Assyrian king Sargon Ki, was a massive structure that stood as a testament to their architectural ingenuity. Although it is now in ruins, its remnants provide insight into the grandeur and skill of Assyrian temple construction. In conclusion, the Assyrians were exceptional builders, creating magnificent structures that showcase their engineering prowess and artistic talents. Their architectural achievements, such as palaces, temples, and cities, were characterized by their advanced construction techniques, innovative designs, and intricate artwork. The Assyrian builders' contributions not only influenced their contemporaries, but also left a lasting impact on future civilizations, as their architectural techniques and artistic styles were adopted and adapted by subsequent cultures in the ancient Near East. The legacy of Assyrian builders stands as a testament to their remarkable skills and enduring contributions to the field of architecture.